Hello, this is Chef John from Food Wishes, and no, I didn't lose all my new equipment. This is an old, old potato recipe that I found that had no voiceover left for some reason. It got lost, so I'm going to try to do a new voiceover on the old equipment. That's why it sounds like crap and looks horrible, but it is an incredibly delicious potato recipe, and I've had a million requests for this since I was on my old blog. Actually, not a million. I had four requests for it. But anyway, here we go. It's potatoes and cheese and some green onions and milk, and it's really easy, it's really delicious, and you don't have to slice anything. Yes, you heard me right. No slicing, and we do a potato gratin. So here's how it works. You're going to boil some potatoes just like you're making mashed potatoes. I'm going to peel them, cut them in half. I'm going to boil them in salted water till tender, and I'm going to drain them. That's all you got to do. That's step one. So those are already cooked. All right, I didn't show that. Like I said, I filmed this a year ago, so I barely remember what I'm doing here. Uh, I grease the inside with like a teaspoon of butter. That's a, like a 9 by 13 baking dish. I'm going to pour my drained, I believe there was six, but check the site for the ingredients. Six potatoes. Now, see, they're cooked. They're drained. They're still in the pieces I boiled them at. I'm going to dump in three green onions I chopped up. All right. And three tablespoons of butter that I'm just going to kind of break up in there. Now, what I'm going to do with a fork here. Oh, by the way, I put a big old pinch of salt in there. I didn't show that. I don't know why. It was a year ago. I can't remember. All right. You're going to take a fork and you're just going to kind of mash these potatoes. Not too fine. You want chunks. This is like a big, chunky, cheesy, it's easy, hence the name, uh, potato gratin. So I don't want it to be baked mashed potatoes. So I do want some chunks in there, but I don't want any large, giant chunks. So maybe like one inch, one to two inch chunks is perfect. All right, I believe I had six ounces of cheddar altogether. So I'm going to put like five ounces in now. I'm going to save a little bit for the top. So I'm going to pour in my cheese, or sprinkle on, I guess would be a better way to put it. And then I'm going to do something else, which I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I'm going to pour my milk in. Now, why do chefs do this? Check this out. I'm drizzling carefully my two cups of milk onto the potato mixture. I'm being very careful, drizzling it on, making sure I'm covering everything. I could have just dumped it all in. They always do that on TV. All right, just dump it all in because I'm going to mix this up anyway. So that was a total waste of, of pouring. And then I do something else because I see my shadow. Okay, that looks like cayenne. So I'm going to put a good pinch of cayenne. That looks like about a half a teaspoon. All right, now I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to mix it together. Now I want you to follow the ingredient amounts on the site even though you think it's wrong. See how soupy and wet that looks? You're thinking, this was a year ago. He forgot how much milk he put in. There's no way this can be right. It is. The potatoes, when we bake it, are going to soak up all that milk. You'll see what happens. So we're going to dot the top with butter, another tablespoon or two. The rest of the cheese, you're going to bake this at like, I don't know, 400 degrees for about a half hour until it's bubbly and gooey and delicious and crusty on top and soft and succulent and easy and cheesy in the middle. Incredibly delicious potato gratin. You can cut it in squares. You can scoop it out. I served it with some pork and... Uh, with apple and shell reduction. I think that recipe is actually on the site. Anyway, I found this old video. I had a request for it, so I decided to do a new voiceover. Um, man, that equipment was horrible back then. Anyway, enjoy.